Connor McManus here from MyPet talking through how authorised users work on the MyPet platform. So an authorised user in short is a user um, that can access pet owner details. So this is typically the place, an animal rescue that is a registered charity, a dog warden or an animal pound. So first off, how they get an authorised user account. First thing they would do is head to our registration page, which I'm on now, and they would click authorised user register here. There's then a form that they must fill in and um, that tells us a little bit about them and then they come to us and we manually review every application to become an authorised user to make sure only the appropriate people can search pet owner details. So very quickly how DEFRA compliant databases work. So all DEFRA compliant databases is connect, are connected to each other and I'll show you how that works now. So uh, let's say for instance your pet is registered with my pet and your pet is handed is lost and handed into a veterinary clinic or uh, to a dog warden. So they can check, they can search any DEFRA compliant microchip database and, uh, and see which database holds information on that animal. So here's one that we prepared earlier. So this is check a chip run by one of the other DEFRA compliant databases and it should tell us that yep, the pet is registered on my pet. So this would then prompt you to head on over to my pet and once you have your authorized user account, you can search then to find out who the owner details are. So one uh, thing to note is if it's an urgent case, feel free to ring us. Our number's on the screen now and it's on our website as well. So I'm already an authorized user. Uh, so I'll go ahead and log in uh, to my authorized user account. And you'll see up here, authorized database search. So I can go ahead and search that and it'll tell me everything I need to know about the pet to help get that pet home. So I can see all the pet's details, what type of pet it is, the name of the pet, so this is Garfield, uh, Garfield's a cat, uh, he's ginger and so he's got some distinguishing features and he's spayed or, spayed or neutered. Um, and it also shows you here when, it was, when the pet's details were last updated. Also gives you the owner's details then, so the authorised user such as the vet or the dog warden can get directly in contact with the pet owner. So you can see this is John Arbuckle, it gives you the telephone number and his address if you need to call out to the house for whatever reason. Um, and the other thing we do is also search every other DEFRA compliant microchip database just to make sure they're also not holding information in the pet, which should be rare as most pets are only registered on one database. So it's as simple as that. And this helps make sure that an authorised user can get your details if your pet goes missing. And it also gives the authorised users a really quick way of finding out who owns the pet to get that pet home as quickly as possible. If you have any questions, uh, feel free uh, to drop me an email. My email address is on the screen now. It's connor, C-O-N-O-R, at mypethq.io. Many thanks. Bye-bye.